Alrighty, hey guys. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the Smith & Wesson 100-1 handcuffs and the Zach Tools uh, number 11, I believe, swivel handcuff key. Now, just a note, this is being recorded on my new camera. It is a, it is the Nikon D3200 DSLR camera, and it does record full HD video, which is pretty cool. I do plan on using this camera more often, as I do also plan on um, buying a few accessories for the, as the hot shoot can support a you know LED light, microphone, everything like that. So uh, I could really do better, more professional video uh, quality, and um, do better reviews, whatnot. But uh, today I'm just using the light from the in um, our living room and a table. So I'm um, just trying it out. I want y'all's opinion on how it works, how you like it, and if I sh should continue using it. But anyways, so this, these both came from handcuffwarehouse.com. The handcuffs were twenty dollars and ninety nine cents uh, on sale, and the key was. Um, like five dollars and eighty nine cents or something like that. So including shipping, it rounded off to just over thirty dollars, which isn't too bad. Which isn't too bad. Uh, by the way, I'm not affiliated with any law enforcement or anything. I just like handcuffs. They fascinate me. I I do have a f um I only do have a few in my collection, but I do plan on growing with um, more budget handcuffs and reviewing them, comparing them, seeing the differences, what what's better about each, and. Um, and I guess I figured a good start would be the best known handcuffs out there that are really nice. So, uh, with a start, when I first got these out of the box, they were surprisingly smooth, easy to flick, um, and overall just really nice. They actually they were kind of like toys, if you if you know what I mean. Like they they're lightweight, you know. Uh, they're just they're easy to flick, and they're just you know, but they are like real police handcuffs. So let me actually zoom out a little bit so I can. There we go. And I am trying out the manual folks on this thing, so bear in with me. Let's take a look at the what's etched on the handcuffs. So. This is this. It says the model number which is M100-1 and then made in USA and then where they were made at. The other side, it shows the Smith & Wesson logo, trademark. And then on this this cuff, it shows nothing on this end. But on this end it shows the serial the serial number. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. So, that's pretty cool. Now for the set these down. Now for the key. Just let me get this out of the frame so it can be easier to focus. You can see uh, this key. I really like it because it's all my key ring and it. You know, it just you can get a lot better grip on this thing. You see, see Zach tool. You can just grab it and then, you know, this is the little end where you put it in the cuff, obviously. And this little double locking pin. And this is the part that goes around your key ring. And this part does swivel, by the way. This end at the top does swivel. So it's pretty cool. Let's set that back down. Again, I am trying to get the hang of this set of there we go. Uh, I guess I could show you the box too that came in. Smith & Wesson handcuffs, made in USA, stuff like that. And now let's look at the actual handcuff keys that it included. So, actually, this is the handcuff key that it included. So, you can see that it says Smith & Wesson etched on it. Let's see if I can get closer. There we go. Smith & Wesson is etched on it both sides. If you look at this key compared to a regular handcuff key, it is longer and notice that these areas where these little holes are here little rings this one is much longer and I mean thicker so definitely a better key so now take a look at the cuffs themselves 
see, unlike most handcuffs, the double locking pin is actually right here, opposed to right here or right here. Um, yeah, so what you would do, you take your key, and you would stick it in, pull that little th thing in the window all the way, and when it disappears, they're double locked. To disengage, you stick your key in, turn it toward the outside, which in this case is counterclockwise on this key, I mean on this cuff, and then hit a click, and then there we go. So. Um, it has a really good sound. I mean, it just sounds, you know, just, it ain't just smooth. I put my own lubricant on it. But, I mean, it, was, it doesn't need it. I mean, this thing's so smooth. And um, you can just take my wrist and then just... And then there we go. It's on. And it's not going to come off. Go ahead and get that off of me. And uh, the chain links. There's no way you're going to break them if you're, you're in cuffs. Because these things are welded. And they are very strong. But. And uh, now, some of the security features, I don't have like a bobby pin or paper clip or anything to demonstrate it with. But I will show you the keyholes of this compared to a uh, cheaper pair of handcuffs. This is actually a no-name brand handcuff that I bought on eBay. But it's a good demonstration because uh, what this has opposed to the cheaper cuffs out there. You can see in the keyholes, you can see that this one, you can see it's just a tiny little pin in there that sticks up. You could really, it's, a, it's, it's big enough to stick like a paper clip or, you know, bobby pin, whatever you want to do to unlock the cuff pretty easily. I mean, I've been easily able to do it. It's not so easy with these Smith & Wessons, though. You can see that it's a much bigger pin, and it's pretty much flush. It's almost flush um, with the the cuff itself, so it doesn't, it makes it very difficult to stick something foreign in the keyhole. I mean, you put the key in, see, look how snugly that fits in there. There's no, there's barely any room, um, leg room in there, or not leg room, but, um, on this end, you can see it's a much bigger hole, move the key around, and, And another thing, you can see the teeth down there. See, it's one solid bar. It's one solid ratchet, if you will. And I said it is very strong. Very nice. So, when I do get into law enforcement, I would definitely be carrying a pair of these cuffs because they're just... You know, just really nice. Smith & Wesson's been around for a long time, and they know what they're doing. Um, and they've, you know, worked out all the kinks that, apparently, that you see that, you know, they're very secure. It's not like you could just stick something in there to pick it. And um, I would definitely trust these if I were out on the job. And so, yeah, if you do have any more questions about these specific cuffs, uh, just leave it in the comments, and I will try to answer it. I do plan on making more of these videos soon as I am in the process of um, finding some um, finding some money to get uh, pairs of handcuffs. They're not too expensive. I would check their web, handcuff web, um, warehouse's website up because uh, they're you know it's very fast shipping. Well, they're in, based out in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm in Freder Fredericksburg, Virginia, which is just a couple hundred miles apart from each other. But I mean, it was just fast shipping. You know they they just came well packaged you know and a good uh, peerless model there those are about 22 bucks peerless 700 they you know chicago winchester cuffs are pretty cheap too and i do plan on reviewing all those but um we will expect to see that in the near future but anyways uh thank you guys for watching and that is it